Okay, so I've done a lot of protective motorcycle riding jean reviews on this channel. They vary greatly in price from 200 all the way to 600. And so in this video, I'm gonna bring you a sub $200 pair of protective motorcycle riding jeans called the Reax 215 jeans. I got to thoroughly test these bad boys on a nine day, 3,200 mile trip to Sturgis in all different types of conditions and environments. That's right, no fluff, just a real world biker review. Everything you need to know if you're considering purchasing the Reax 215 jeans. Welcome back, Bikeaholics. Ryan Erlacher here, lawabidingbiker.com. I always thank you, that's right, you, for checking back in. So if you're new to the channel, I'll just let you know that I'm into less traditional leather gear and more modern progressive riding gear. If you're still rolling with leather, own it, ride on. So a lot of you roll with chaps, and that's totally fine. Just understand there's a whole nother segment that wants something a bit more stylish, something more protective and functional that works well on the bike and off the bike. And that's why most of you take your chaps off when you get somewhere, because they're clunky to walk around in and hot. And real quick, I'll mention this is not a sponsored video. But I do wanna thank Revzilla for sending the gear out to me. No strings attached, so I can tell you what I do and don't like about items they send me. So diving into these Reax 215 jeans, these are an 11.5 ounce cotton denim. As you can see, it is a five pocket design, of course. You got the two pockets up front, you got a little coin pocket over here on the right side and nothing significant on the back there, your basic two rear pockets. And overall, just a good looking standard pair of jeans, which is what I like about riding jeans like this, is I know that when I'm on the bike, they're offering a good level of protection and I can jump off the bike and go to somebody's house or go to an event, go to dinner, and nobody can tell that I'm actually wearing protective motorcycle riding jeans, a lot of you, could jump on the bike, ride these to the office, wear them in the office all day, uh, and pass them off as regular jeans. Now, when it comes to the cut of this jean, this is a straight cut riding jean. It's going to be uh, very similar to like a Levi 501 classic cut straight leg fit, not tapered. And if you want something maybe cut a little bit different with a little bit different style, I've done reviews on both of these jeans, uh, but you might move up to something like the Rocker Red Selvage or the Rocker Originals. These are a lot thicker though, and of course the price point goes up quite a bit. Oh, and real quick, if you appreciate this video and all the videos we put out on this channel to try to help as many bikers as we can worldwide, you can support us. Anything I talk about in this video, I will put links in the description below. No additional cost to you, but if you click through and make a purchase, we do get a small commission. It definitely helps keep the lights on here and we appreciate your continued support. All right, and these are built very well. If you look down the leg here, you'll see all the way down the seam, triple stitching. And that's good because if you do go down and slide, you certainly don't want that ripping apart. And overall, I will say that they're built well. When you feel them, they are thinner than some of the other jeans that I've reviewed, but again, they're coming in sub $200. Oh, and I've done a bunch of other motorcycle jean review videos and uh, I will link to those in the description below for you if you're interested. And just to reiterate the good build quality, we've also got triple stitching down the rear here, and we've just got a leather patch on the rear here, very subdued with the Reax logo. And so an interesting factoid, Rocker, who makes more expensive and premium riding jeans, which I have reviewed some pairs on this channel, actually partnered with Reax using their experience and technology to make the Reax 215 jeans. Okay, and so on the front, you do have a good solid YKK zipper front fly, and you have a front button with the Reax logo embossed. And reinforced belt loops all the way around. You'll see on the back, it has two rear belt loops. Instead of one, they're close together. That is to interface with Reax jackets that have the loop and snap so that your jacket doesn't ride up. And so overall, just a good looking, stylish 
motorcycle riding gene. Let's move inside where the magic is. Oh, and before you leave the channel, make certain you hit the subscribe button and bell icon. Reason being, you'll be notified when I come out with new videos. And I actually tested multiple pieces of riding gear during our trip. I'm gonna be doing a detailed breakdown on each piece. They'll all release on this channel, of course. And I do sincerely thank you for taking the time to hit that subscribe button. All right, and as I get this flipped inside out, you can immediately see the Kevlar panels. They call it Kevlar Twill. Pretty good coverage as far as the entire rear section. It goes down, it looks like, to just maybe about the knees in the rear to below the knees. Some of the jeans come with panels throughout, so they go all the way down the legs. Of course, as that happens, price goes up. But uh, overall, I'm pretty impressed with the coverage. Moving around to the front, just know that all the coverage is in the rear. We don't have any coverage, it looks like here, Kevlar-wise, uh, in the front of the jean like some others do. And bringing the price point down, of course, doesn't come with D3O armor like some of the other jeans in the hips here. However, at least they included pockets. It's ready for it, of course. They recommend Rocker D3O armor, but I took the hip armor out of my Climb K52 jeans, the D3O Evo armor, and it fits just perfect. Okay, also prepped for D3O knee armor, which is really cool. Again, doesn't come with it, but uh, you can see these pockets here are very deep. My arm goes way up in there. And uh, in here is a Velcro strip, runs from here all the way down, and I don't know if I can get you just a little bit of shot of that Velcro strip, but the nice thing about that is, of course they're recommending rocker armor, but I took the knee armor out of my Climb K52 jeans. Again, I've done a review of these on this channel. And uh, it's got two Velcro pads on it. And what that really does is it's adjustable knee armor, which is really nice because everybody's knees sit at a different spot. And you can just take those and put it in here and basically just Velcro it to the position that you like. And with that said, I mentioned in my Climb K52 jeans review that uh, I didn't actually use the knee armor very much. The reason is, is I think if you're gonna ride a lot and you're not gonna do a lot of walking on a trip, then the knee armor would be good. And of course, I suggest using it offers a lot of extra protection. I just found with the climb jeans and knee armor, I'm certain it would be the same on these had I run knee armor, is that it's kind of cumbersome and it rubs weird if you're gonna do a lot of rocking. But again, it does come in and out. And although I didn't like the knee armor when walking around, I will say that on my Climb K52 jean review, I did state that I kept the hip armor in and uh, it didn't cause any problem at all. And I kept it in the entire time. So I just wanna give you a little bit of comparison about the different kind of panels or lack of full panels. Of course, we've got the full rear pretty much on the Reax 215. And you'll see on these K52s that you've got the panels are just a lot bigger and they're actually running around the hips and to the front of the jeans and they're going down a lot farther on the legs and you can see the coverage there. But with these, you're moving up to like 290, uh, whereas the Reax 215s are 150. And then of course you're moving up to something like the Rocker, which are a bit more expensive. You've got panels all the way throughout and the denim itself is just a lot beefier. So at the end of the day, it's really what level of protection you're looking for, and of course, price point, because everybody has a different price point depending on what situation you're in. Oh, and while I was in Sturgis testing this gear, I got to meet up with a bunch of our beloved patron members. If you're interested in becoming a member, link in the description below by signing up. Of course, you're supporting us and you're getting benefits on top of it. We would love to have you become part of the community and we'd love to get to know you better. And so I wanna talk just a little bit more about partial panels like these jeans in key areas versus full panels in regards to how hot they are. I tested these jeans in 50 degrees while we were riding Beartooth Pass all the way to over 100 degrees in and around Sturgis, both while I was riding and when I was walking around. And yes, I will tell you that these jeans are gonna be a little bit cooler than the full panel jeans, but the full panels are totally doable. The thing you don't get with partial panels is that protection from the front, from the cold wind and maybe gravel being spit up, whereas the full panels will offer you a bit more protection in that regard. Okay, so a couple different color options. You've got raw denim, 
and washed blue. The ones you're looking at here in this video are the washed blue. So when it comes to sizing, these Reax 215 jeans were on par with my normal waist size. No surprises there. Make sure you use the sizing chart. Now, when you're ordering motorcycle riding jeans, you're really fitting for the waist only because they only come in a couple different length sizes, usually longer. The bigger waist size you get, the longer they are. They also make a tall version. You're probably gonna have to hem them, which I do all mine. One thing to take into note when you get them and hem them is make sure you hem them just a little bit long because when you're actually sitting on the motorcycle, they're gonna ride up a little bit and you wanna make sure you have good protection and they're draping over your shoe or boot. And one other thing that I didn't mention, which I do want to tell you about, and I haven't seen this in any other riding jeans, you can also uh, ride with these just rolled up if you don't want to hem them. There's actually a reflective strip in there. And so when you're riding down the road, you'll get that little pop and uh, give you a better chance to be seen by other cars. So on these jeans, I really can't note any defects or anything that's coming apart after good hard use. So I'm gonna call this a good entry level protective motorcycle riding jean if you're looking at getting into riding jeans like this. I will also add that it's high quality. So although it's entry level, it's high quality. And I've tested a lot of different jeans and I will tell you that these jeans for the sub 200 price is a really good value for your dollar. And I'll definitely continue riding with these. I like the style of them, I definitely like the comfort of them. I will add the hip armor, and if I'm not gonna do a lot of walking around, I'll add that D3O knee armor. All right, you're not done on the channel. I'm gonna pop a couple videos on the screen here. Maybe something useful or entertaining. Heck, maybe both anyways, wherever they are. Click on them, check them out. Thanks for watching.